if you ask for a full body routine, and I wanted to give you one in around five minutes. So you could do it if you've been at your desk all day and you get home just a few small minutes a day or start your day. So knees below shoulders, knees below shoulders, knees below hips and hands below shoulders. From here, we're going to tuck our toes and come back all the way into a thoracic cat cow here. So then we're going to arch up. As you arch up, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can come back a little bit more or you can untuck your toes. So rounding and arching. So this is a thoracic cat cow. Our thoracic area is often very much tight because it is where all our vital organs are protected and then it causes tightness in our neck and our shoulders and everything else. So from here, I want you to look over your right shoulder and look over your left shoulder. You're going to inhale to center, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Coming back to center. Now from here, we're going to bring our arm down across the body. We're going to keep our sit bones on our evenly on our heels, and we're going to loosen up the back further with rotating. As you rotate, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blade together. Not bring your arm back, squeeze your shoulder blade together. And as you push up from the ground, you're going to push away from this shoulder. I'm not going to sink into it. Now let's swap sides. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to go into hips next. A little squeeze at the top. Remember, not the arm back. Just squeezing the shoulder blades together. Weight is even on the heels. And release. So we're going to work our way into our forearms. From here, you're going to flex your feet. We're going to open our legs. So we're going to get the inner thighs. And we're going to rock forward and back. You're going to keep your pelvis tucked and your core tucked. So you've got as wide as you feel here to get an inner thigh feel and then come forward and back. Forward and back. So from here you're going to extend one leg to the side and then you're going to rock back and forward the same thing. So keep the chest tall, ribs in as you do this. Inhale, exhale. So don't jump down, keep that tight. Switching sides. Rock back and forward. Inhale, exhale. We're going to move a little bit towards the hip flexors next. Keep your breath steady. So come to the all fours position. From here, we're going to bring one leg forward. And we're going to come back and forward. So, so you've got your hamstring, dig your heel into the ground, knee slightly bent so you get a hamstring activation, and then forward, tuck your pelvis here. Tuck your pelvis here. If you need blocks, we'll come up here, that's okay. If you need something under your knee, feel free to as well. Okay? As you get more flexible, you can go longer into it. As I come down into my hip flexor, I tuck my pelvis, squeeze my glute. As I come back, I bend my knee slightly and pull on my heel by pushing my heel down to activate my hamstring. Inhale, exhale. Breathing is very important. Beautiful. 
four. So we're going to go into a cobra pose here, into a down dog. So you're going to go lifting up to your level, pull your chest forward here, tuck your toes, down dog. Roll back into plank, dip, up, scapula, pelvis, chest forward, pulling forward, all the way down. Chest puffing, tuck, push back on the heels, shoulders, scapula, and down. Coming all the way back, finishing off with a child's pose to one side. Child's pose to the other side. Same to child's pose. And that's all it takes. Five minutes a day mobility for full body.